All right, so we're going to go through the Skylab uh, portal. I think a lot of you have actually tried to look at the site for looking at past projects, and that's why the system uh, basically committed seppuku, and it killed itself, its uh, load is too high. Uh, but no worries. Uh, basically, you'll be interacting for all three of the milestones by going to this URL. Uh, you don't have to memorize it. You just type orbital NUS into your browser, it'll take you to the NUS site, and then there's a link there for Skylab, or of course you can just search for Skylab NUS, and then you'll find it, okay? So the, uh, it's a, actually it's a web platform that grew out of Orbital. Uh, in our first Orbital, we did everything by hand, and then somebody said, why don't we make, make this a project to do? And so it was engineered in Ruby on Rails. Who's heard of Ruby on Rails? Probably no one in this room because it's five years old. Yeah. So uh, it's actually more than that. But uh, it's an old web technology. Uh, it's up to version five right now. So most people now write web apps in React Native or something else. But uh, back then it was state of the art. So basically, it is exactly like your basic CRUD application. So I think you're going to hear about CRUD more. CRUD doesn't stand for what it sounds like. It stands for create, replace, update, and delete. That means standard database operations. Okay. So what do we do in the database? Well, we can store information about teams, about projects, about milestones. Okay, and and the uh, um, things like your your. Uh, in ignition slides, okay? So all of this information is kept in a web application. You could design something like that. That would definitely be worth Apollo 11, okay? So what's in this team management information system? It's really actually very simple. You've already used it a little bit. Uh, you should have been able to log in to Skylab at uh, some point uh, in the last 24 hours or so or, or earlier, okay? And you should be able to get to a, a place like this where you have uh, a tab that says user details and user roles. Uh, unless you are simultaneously taking Skylab and doing something else, you should just have the role of a student, as you can see on the right-hand side. Okay. So uh, what happens is, once you log in as a student, okay, uh, you will see a screen a little bit like this. I had to preload these because uh, Skylab isn't feeling too well with all of the load. Okay, and uh, you can see there's different things that you need to do. Okay, so. Throughout all three milestones, you'll be using this particular tab, which says Submit Project Log, okay? And so uh, you'll have to do things here to satisfy the individual milestones, okay? To upload your reports, uh, submit your project logs. Your project logs are basically what Jin has probably already told you about, I think, which is the timesheet that you basically say that you've spent X number of hours this sprint, hopefully totaling 140 hours by the end of the summer vacation, okay, and the duties that you've done, as well as an updated report about how your project is going in general, okay, so that's your project log, okay. You're going to submit these into uh, Skylab by touching the create button here, and then you can fill out that information. If you have time over the next 24 hours or so, you can preview that, okay. What you're going to do more now is uh, to go edit the team, okay, so when you enter uh, as a student, you should be assigned a team if you're already uh, joined together. There's plenty of seats up in the front. There's at least seven or eight seats, so you guys can come up. Don't worry, I won't fight you, okay? So uh, when you go and click on the team, uh, you'll see something like this. If you don't like your team name, like I think most of you are given a serial number, okay, a four-digit serial number, please go change that by uh, clicking Edit Team. Then you'll be able to change your team name and your project level, okay? Um, you can't kick out your friend's name here. Sorry, you're sort of stuck with them for right now. If you want to change your partners, you have to let us know, okay? Do try to select the team name that you're satisfied by the end of uh, the first milestone. It gets confusing for your fellow team peers when they're doing peer evaluations you keep on changing your name every couple of weeks, okay? Some people like really like doing that. Okay, they have like an identity crisis mode or whatever, okay? All right, um, in any case, you should do that. And then, one of the things you'll have to do is when you edit the team, so there's this button over here, after you serve the team, you edit the team, okay? As I said, you can change your project name, uh, project uh, team name and your project level. Okay? But you also have to enter in your poster link and your video link. 
Okay? The video link you can worry about later. The poster link for right now will be uh, the things that you required from uh, your ignition. Okay? So, uh, for example, you have to create. Um, let's see, here we are. Nope, not this one. What was it? Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, there's this document that you'll see later on, which just says preparing your slide for ignition. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is actually create a single slide in JPEG or a ping format. Okay, not PDF. I said PDF earlier, so please uh, disregard that. Okay, and you need to host it somewhere on the web so that Skylab can just fetch that URL and show it in the browser. Okay, so how do you do that? Let's see, let me make that a little bigger. Basically, you upload your slide into an image hosting service and then provide the link to Skylab. Okay, so you could use something like imagebb.com to do that. So I'm going to do a, a version of this for you. So I've gone ahead and uh, created a slide. Okay, what I did is I went to uh, Unsplash. This is a really nice site uh, for finding nice photos of things that uh, are are uh, Creative Commons. So you can search for things. These are all. Uh, License to the public domain, so you pick an image or something like that, uh, stick it on a slide like on a, a Google Slides, all right? Then give your project a name, and you must put down your team name, uh, team member names. You should also uh, put down uh, the the project level you're doing. So this may be like a, a Apollo 11 or whatever. Okay, and then using this information, uh, you can see I'm trying to just get about atmospheric slides, I'm going to just talk about my project rather than have details on the slide. Okay, then what you can do is uh, save it, download it, and then upload it to the portal. Okay, if you use public resources, okay, please do credit them. So there's this little line down here that says photo by blah blah on Unsplash, okay, because we're taking other people's creative uh, media and using it for our own presentations. Do give them due credit, just like you wouldn't plagiarize uh, on your academic assignments, right? Okay, so you would download this, so, so I have a couple downloads here. Then I'm going to uh, imagebb.com, and then uh, following the, the guidelines to upload it, and then I have a, video, uh, a link here, and I can copy that link and put it into my poster link here, okay? Something like that, okay? And I would save that. So don't worry if you don't get all of this uh, clear right now, the instructions will be through here. So I'll just, uh, again, say what you have to do. You need to include your name and your team members on your poster for the ease of identification. Okay, save it as an image file. Okay, upload that slide to an image hosting service and then provide that link on Skylab. So you can do uh, load that image. So Jin loaded a picture of the space shuttle taking off. Okay, and then copy that uh, uh, link detail. Okay. And then log in the Skylab as I showed you earlier. After you've logged in, okay, you click here to get to your team. Once you're in your team, you click here to edit the team. Okay, once you click there, you can put your poster link. Okay, so once you've done all of that and you save, you have your liftoff poster ready. Okay, so you can see all of these steps here. Okay, poster link, put it here. Okay, the deadline for uploading the slide tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. because right after you upload all the images and uh, hopefully Skylab won't have problems saving the URLs, we are going to hold ignition both here in uh, Hangar as well as in uh, Auditorium. Okay, so we have the capability to go through all of your images and we'll ask you to come up team at a time to present in one minute. Okay. All right. So uh, to create the slide, you can do it in any format you want. Okay, but try to stick to landscape if it, it shows better on the screens. Okay, uh, and save it as an image. Right. So we've gone through all of this. All right. So after we finish liftoff over these two days, then for the next three months we have certain milestones. Right. The milestones are written exactly right down here on. June 3rd, we have our ideation uh, milestone. 1st of July, our prototype. Okay, 
And 29th of our July is our refinement, okay? Those are the three milestones that your peers, meaning yourselves, will be grading your, your other team members on, okay? So after you've uploaded your assignment, your advisor will prompt you one week, uh, during that one week period after the deadline, to actually do the evaluation of other teams, okay? Now some team members decide, okay, there will be one team member responsible for all of their evaluations. Somebody else, the other person will not have to deal with that. That's fine too. But sometimes it's helpful to discuss uh, how you're going to do the evaluation of other teams. Okay? Uh, Jin has already told you, I think, earlier that you can look at uh, what other people have delivered. And I think Jin earlier has already shown you some of the past projects. Okay? So you can check out the past projects on the project navigation. And finally, you can take part in the discussion. Now, for today and tomorrow, we are using Slack to do communication. And Slack is actually a very good, powerful uh, type of WeChat or WhatsApp type of application, an IM application. It has a lot of good software engineering scheduling integrations. Okay? So uh, again, a lot of uh, engineering teams out there in the world use Slack. It's free, something you should learn how to use, especially if you want to go to NLC like Anand mentioned. Okay? But outside of Slack, which is more for real time, and we encourage you to use it even for your teams, okay, or for your advisors especially, you can use the forum. So um, not during mission control and not during uh, liftoff, uh, you can uh, use the forum instead. That's what Jin has said. So for example, Anand just told us that if you want to have uh, uh, information about mentorship, you can go to the forum. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, you go, let's see, yeah, over here, you go to the forum, which I have on this tab here. You won't have so many tabs as I do, okay, but you can uh, see information about mentorship here um, that you can click on and then contribute your post, okay? So the forum discussion board here is more for persistent discussion. So if you have uh, information that you think is not just a real time, not urgently needed, uh, then you can come here and, and do that. Okay? All right. So I think that is almost about it. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. All right. So with that, we have finished this part of uh, Skylab, and I think you have all the information you need to get started. Um, at 3 o'clock, which is about one and a half minutes from now, we're going to start our uh, web app development here in the hangar. So uh, with that, I think that's all we have for right now. Thank you. Yes, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay, just a quick announcement. So sometimes the uh, uh, Skylab may be under heavy uh, load.